it's the first film about this war that is told from the soldier's perspective. It is solely about the soldiers, and um, it's not a political film. It is just kind of telling the truth about what's happening to a lot of the troops right now. I think that I started out probably selfish like reasons to do the film. I always wanted to play a soldier, you know, just a boyhood fascination with war and, and, and soldiering. And then once I got into it, it, it really, it, I don't know, it was so moving and, and kind of life changing. I, I'll never watch, the, I'll never do anything the same, you know. And I know a lot of people say that they, they watch the news or they keep up with current events, but they, you know, they, they don't. I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't know what Stop Loss was before I did this movie. Before I did Stop Loss, I didn't know any soldiers personally. But having done Stop Loss, I made a lot of friends with guys that have been over there and been through it. And it's allowed me to see them more as human beings and less as, you know, news stories or buzzwords or statistics. And I think that's really important to remember. These are actually people over there. Um, and, you know, you, see, you say, you hear words like surge and you just clump everyone together and you forget that there's actual individual people involved and that's what Stop Loss is all about, saying here's, here's the stories of a few individuals.